let's switch gears to Kentucky now, gentlemen. SEC play. Wildcats get it done on the road at Vandy, 69-53. Are they back? Tyler selling them, saying no NCAA tournament. It's not an NCAA tournament team. But what can you say from the fact that they've kind of started to piece some wins together here down the stretch, Tyler? Well, obviously, they're going to different lineups. They're trying everything. Uh, and to me, I just, you know, I think that they're – there's such a big hole in their shooting and also their depth. They don't have a lot of depth on this team, uh, but their shooting has been a struggle all year. And so if they don't have the shooting that opens up the lane uh, for Toshibwe, then I don't think he's going to be able to have the year that we all kind of expected him to have. Now, Toshibwe is a great player and he's going to get a lot of things done. He's going to pull some wins out for him, but I don't think they have the depth or the shooting uh, to make a deep run or to even get a resume at this point to make the tournament if they do go on another cold streak and and lose some uh, some games. The SEC is tough, and uh, just like the ACC, every game, you can lose any game in the SEC. Uh, so to me, this weekend is going to be a good indicator because Kansas is coming uh, to town, and I'm looking forward to that matchup. Now, Kansas doesn't have a big, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how they handle that but I don't think they have the shooting to have the year that they want. Uh, so you're selling, and we talked about it in a break, so you're selling. I couldn't sell fast enough. You couldn't <laughs> sell fast enough. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm buying. I'm going the other direction. And the reason being, and I, I love this. I love this. we got to go back and forth a little bit. Uh, but Tennessee, that game changed things because Severe Wheeler didn't play. So they, they were forced into that lineup because of injury. And then they're like, oh, man, this one works. Oh, man, we're bigger around the perimeter. Oh, man, there's like we, – we, we do have a little bit more shooting. Now, some of these guys that you're referring to, T, like we thought C.J. Frederick was going to be a 40 – he was a 45 to 47% shooter at Iowa. Is that right, Megan? Yeah, like right he, he was up in those – he's in the mid-30s this year. He's struggling to find his rhythm. Antonio Reeves is more scorer than he is shooter per se. But like at the same time – when Severe's not bringing that ball up the court, you know, C.J. Frederick is, or Kaysan Wallace is. They're bringing it up and they're getting rid of it, and they're willing to get rid of it, so the ball moves a little bit more. And those guys, while they're not great shooters, some of them, are, they're still have, they still have the respect and the gravity to pull defenses out, and that's giving Sheboy a little bit more room. So I think that's going to help a lot, uh, at least in Sheboy's production. And then guys like, he's a menace on the offensive glass. I, I mean, they're, they're the number three offensive rebounding team in the country. And that's down two spots from yesterday. Like, so like the thing is about this team is they might not, they might have some off shooting nights, but they're going to get a lot of extra opportunities and they're bigger now with these lineups. And then severe is what he is. He can be that lightning rod, that energy giver that comes off the bench and just mixes things up and gives you a change of pace for 12 to 15. That's why I like this team. Yeah, and so my question would be, why do you think it took them so long to find out to find a lineup that works? And my the other thing, my other point would be the offensive rebounds are going to be there. If you can't shoot well, you're going to have a lot of opportunities. And so that would be my counter argument to, to your offensive rebounding uh, uh, stats that you threw our way. Yeah, you know. The thing is, is, is severe kind of, he held onto the ball a little bit, but now Reeves has been good because the ball's popping and now he can attack closeouts a little bit more. And when, the, when, you know, second side offense, you remember in your Carolina break, like if you can get the post entry right away, that's great. If they can throw it at sheep right away, that's great. But you, either you or Dion would come up to the high post and you'd swing it other side. You'd have some action on the other side. That second side's where you get a lot of your offense. Now the ball's getting to that second side. And now C.J. Frederick can shoot the ball and knock down shots on that second side, which he's done at a, at a decent mm -hmm. rate. He's done at a good rate. I like Antonio, Frederick. Yeah, mm -hmm. Frederick's a good player. He's done it at a decent 35 36%. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, Reeves is right at 39%. He, he should be featured more coming on the second side of the offense. Those guys are really good players, and they have that length that's necessary. And then whenever you bring severe off the bench, I'm always big on like a curveball off the bench. I think that's a great thing. A guy that injects something, right? That's the reason I like Seth Trimble at Carolina, because I think he injects that speed, that toughness, that ball mover that sometimes I, those guards at Carolina don't have. I think severe can be that curveball for Kentucky. And I think CJ and Antonio could be uh, 
big time shot makers, once they find the rhythm and that ball starts moving a little bit more, that's kind of where you can get those guys to play better more consistently. And guys, they are playing better consistently four wins in a row. I will say this, Kansas is going to be much better this next game than they were the past three. I felt like the emotional expenditure of the Kansas state game lasted two games after that. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to learn a lot from that game, especially because look, is Kentucky going to keep this streak going? We don't know, but I'll tell you one thing, when you have a player like Oster Sheepway, if you can get outside shooting going as well, you become a very tough team to beat.